how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys and gals. And today, what I have for everyone is a double unboxing for you guys and gals. So, for those of you who don't know, Amazon Prime Day just passed. As of the recording of this video, it is July 19th. Amazon Prime Day runs from July 16th to July 18th. And I was actually able to get my hands on two things that I think are really sweet. And um, I got it at a really good price. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it and give you guys my first impressions on it. So in particular what I was able to pick up is I was able to get my hands on the T9 5Z Plus Android TV box. And then I also got my hands on the uh, GANA uh, HDMI 3-way splitter. Because I'm hoping that this TV box will replace my Chromecast and also replace my stick PC. So I want to be able to browse the web, um, do all my social media stuff, and also be able to edit my videos all from this Android TV box. So I'm going to test it out. I'm going to see how I like it, see what I like and don't like, and come back with a full review for you guys and gals. But also, I wanted to maintain functionality of my stick PC and my Chromecast. That's why I went ahead and picked up the three-way splitter. So now I can still use my stick PC and my Chromecast and also plug in this Android TV box. So without further ado, already cracked the tapes and seals and let's get into these boxes. And I'm just going to go ahead and spoil it for you guys right now. I was able to pick up this whole package for $80 after taxes with one day shipping because I got it on Amazon Prime Day. So, let's do this. Put this phone down. Let's get into this. Now, this TV box is supposed to have 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of onboard storage and also come with its own remote. And let's see. First off, I gotta tell you guys, this packaging looks really, really good. So, um, pretty straightforward. We just have the model number, the T9 5Z Plus. TV box and then it lets you know that it's got it's that 8 core processor inside and then a Mali T820 MP3 GPU and it's a 64 bit CPU and it tells you all the codecs there so HVC H.265 and it has a 4K output now I apologize for the lighting I wanted to test out my um, LED light on the new rig, so this is being recorded with my smartphone, the newer R rig, and my LED light with the warm filter on it. So, walking around the box, as you can see, I had a little bit of struggle opening it, but it says the same thing on this side TV box, and then we got a barcode information, and that's about it. So, let's crack this open. I hope I opened it the right way. And it looks like I may not have. So we got our power brick. What else we got going on here? We got our HDMI cable. Um, let's see, let's keep going. We do have our remote. Okay, so so far so good. Everything seems to be included. And then where's the TV box itself? Strange little partitioning in here. Here, use the manual. And where are you? I feel you in there. I didn't open you right. Hold on one second. Pull that divider out. And oh, it's way down there. Okay. Alright, and here's the TV box itself. Kind of messed up the packaging. Make sure there's nothing else in there. I think we're all good. Seems to be empty. 
kind of broke it a little bit. Throw this off to the side. They could have done that packaging a little bit easier. Alright. So, let's take this little TV box out of the protective cover. And wow, there you have it. Throw that off to the side. So, got our standard user manual here. I'm go ahead and read this off camera. Got a remote for controlling the Android TV box. Now, I already have a wireless keyboard and mouse, so I may not even use this. And your standard cables. And then right here we have the three-way splitter for HDMI. So let's crack this. Um, use a manual. Pretty straightforward. Um, let's see. Thank you card. And then we have the three-way splitter itself covered in tape. Throw this package off to the side. And let's get this tape off of here. Ah, it's stuck to me. Alright. Ah, okay. And there we go. So this is the three-way splitter for you guys. So get my one HDMI in and split that into three HDMI out. So good stuff. And it looks pretty good. Pretty good. And this also has two 4K outputs. So if I ever do get my hands on a 4K TV, and I was trying, but I don't have the money for it right now, I will be good to go with the 4K TV box and the 4K three-way splitter. So, yeah. Now, let's take a look at this stuff right here. Might as well do this splitter first. So, nice little thank you card. It says uh, Ghana on it. Um, make your life better. And we just flip it open, let you know the customer support and the warranty information right there. So feel free to pause and read this for yourself. Pretty straightforward. Let me throw it off to the side. We're going to check that out off camera. Then we have our user manual right here, which is pretty much just one piece of paper. So that's one side. And here's the other side. Again, feel free to pause and read for yourself. Throw this off to the side. We're going to check that out. Alright. Okay. So y'all don't want to see me plug this all up. I'll let y'all know how this performs in the full review. Now let's walk around the Android TV box. And we're going to wrap it up. First impressions though, I got to tell you guys. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. But I'm actually liking the size. I got the perfect place for this. So I'm liking that um, octagon shape or hexagon shape, whatever you call it. And then as we walk around it, you can see we got power, we got HDMI, we got, e we got an Ethernet plug, we got an optical plug, we got USB here, and um, micro SD card slot right there, and another USB right there. So pretty much everything you should need to get up and going. Let's count the USBs. One, uh, two, and yeah, two USBs and and um, micro SD card slot and your Ethernet jack and your optical. So pretty good, pretty good. First impressions, kind of liking that. I already cleared off a small space for this. And this is going to go right in the space that I have cleared off. Anyways, real quick video. Not going to spend any much more time on this. So again, this was my unboxing and first impressions of the Ghana or Ghana 3-way HDMI splitter. And the, if I can remember the name, the T9 5Z Plus Android TV box. Now, 
I'm going to just tell y'all a few things before we get up out of here. One of the reasons why I went with this TV box is it's supposed to be running Android 7.1.2. And I also like the uh, three, 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of onboard storage. And this is also supposed to have um, uh, 802.11 BGNN AC Wi-Fi support. So I should have access to my 2.4 gigahertz band and my 5 gigahertz band. That and the fact that it's running Android was one of the key reasons why I decided to pick it up. Anyways, if you guys and gals enjoyed this video, please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut, strangely lit videos like this, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so y'all get notified when I post new videos. As always, if this unboxing and first impressions video piqued you guys' interest and you would like to know where you can pick these up for yourself, all links to where you can pick up these products at some really great prices will be available down below in the video description. Now, seeing as this is my first TV box experience, I'm going to go ahead and take my time with this full review. Um, once I feel like I got a handle on it, I'll drop the review for you guys. Now, I'm not going to set any limits because, you know, it's a brand new experience for me and I honestly don't know what to expect. Anyway, that being said, I hope everyone has a great day and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. And, this whole video, again, was recorded with the Moto E4 Plus in 720p, 30fps, with no external mics hooked up. Man, my external microphone be sad. <laughs> Excuse me. No external mics hooked up, and my newer R rig and LED light. So please let me know what you think of the overall audio quality and video quality down below in the comments, and I will catch you guys and gals in the next video. Out of here for real now, everyone. Have a great day. Peace.